Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, before we get into the video, um, if you guys didn't already know this, only 1% of you guys who watch our videos are subscribed. So, let's try to get that number up to at least 10 by the end of the month. So, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on notifications to know right when we release a new video and to be there to watch it. Also, we're super close to hitting a thousand subs, so if you guys sub right now, you can be part of the OG Excel Gamer Bros squad who subscribe before we hit 1,000 subscribers. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get more points in Arena, and this works in solos and duos. So first, what you guys have to do is get into an Arena game, and I'll show you guys the best location to drop, so don't miss it. So the best location to drop is going to be in all the way at the edge of the map. It's near these snowy mountains. It's all the way to the right of them. And I'll be showing you guys what it looks like on the map. So this is what it looks like on the map. So if you're playing duos, one person should go to the blue marker. One person should go to the red marker. But if you're playing um, solos, then one of you guys can just go to the red marker. And these places are great because nobody drops there. And they always have at least one or two chests that give you decent loot. So this is just what it looks like from the second player side who's dropping at the blue marker. So you're just going to drop right at the blue marker. And as you guys can see, there's going to be one chest right on top of this, um, this like pipe guy. So right in the middle, and that one always gives you a med kit and some sort of AR, or any type of gun, which is really, really useful. So this is the second player, or if you're playing solos, you'll take this route. So you're just going to drop at this place, it looks like Weeping Woods, it's like right at the edge. And it looks like Weeping Woods, and it's another, like, um, pipe area, and it should have two chests, but sometimes it only has one, but it usually has some pretty good ground loot, so just land over there if you're the solo or if you're playing duos. So just to show you guys, it's right over there. So when you drop there and while you're in the air, you should be able to see a pipe, um, like sculpture or a person, just a little pipe area. And that's what it looks like. So you'll go down there and there should be one chest. So then you guys are going to want to make your way all the way over to the rig. So just keep on moving and there's a few houses in between. So the goal of this is to get to the rig and try to kill the henchmen before the storm kills them. And take the weapons and open up the henchman chest. And there will also be another normal chest at this house. So just take a look at this. So you're making your way over to the house. And there should be henchmen there if you can make it there before the storm. But try to be there as the storm is going over the rig so that you won't have to play any people. So just kill all the henchmen and get their guns. And then you can go all the way back up to the top of this area and open up the chest. So make sure you guys stick around for the rest of the video because I'm going to show you guys the entire route to try to get as many placement points as possible. So you guys are going to keep on moving over here and you're going to want to make your way all the way over to Slurpee Swamp. And you're going to make your way, depending on where the storm circle is, try to make your way into one of the um, healing zones inside of Slurpee Swamp. So ours was right over there, because that was right on the path of the storm. So you're going to be storm camping most of this game, so make sure you guys have as many meds as possible, because you're really going to need them. So once you're slurpy swamp, you're just going to sit inside this water, and since the storm will be a one ticker, you won't be losing any health. So this is your chance to use any med kits or bandages or shields or anything and just camp at this little spot and also if you can get a fishing rod and try to fish out as many um, small fries as possible because they'll be very very useful to you and try to get flobbers as well but stay inside of this water as long as possible and try to get as many meds as possible before you make your way onto the next location so the next part of this will be to make your way over here and you'll probably find some sort of um, slurp barrels somewhere that will give you uh, health and these will be very very useful so this is very very rare but we actually found somebody to kill over here so normally the people who are camping inside the storm won't be that great but if you're decent maybe you can kill them and get some more health which is another great way to gain health and if there's nobody here just try to camp in the second little um, location over here 
So we just went after them because they didn't look like they were that great. And we ended up killing them and getting a bunch of hype and of course health. Because in Arena, you guys gained health for killing other people, which is pretty good. So after you make your way through this little area, just try to camp here for as long as possible and get yourself back up to full health if you can. And just keep on moving across the Slurpee Swamps area. So once you get out of Slurpee Swamps, you're going to have to keep on moving towards the circle. And this is the place where you'll need the most meds because it might become a two-tick here very, very soon. So if you just keep on doing this, once there is about 20 people left, you should get the 60 hype which is for placing in the top 12. So this is what you're aiming to get every single round, and if you can do that with or without the bus fares, it could be about 40 to 60 hype, because if you're in the open league, it won't take any bus fares, so we got 60 hype for this. So I strongly suggest that you guys follow this route every single game that you play to try to get the top 12, and if you don't really want to, just some general tips are to try to drop as far away from the bus as possible and to try to encounter as little people as you can because this will really help you guys survive longer and get those placement points which are really really useful so thanks for watching guys make sure to hit that like button and if we get 30 likes on this video we'll be doing another video that'll help you guys get even better at arena so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video